archiving stuff when you're done with it. So now you've organized your stuff, you've started using Google Drive as a digital backpack, and now we need to talk about what archiving means. And that just means taking something that's valuable to you that you want to hang on to, but that you don't need to work on right now. So you want to put it somewhere where it'll be safe, where you can get to it later, probably in another location so that it's not taking up space on your computer. There's a big difference between syncing stuff or backing it up and archiving things. When we ask you to use Google Drive as your digital backpack, one of the reasons is that we want you to have all these files backed up and syncing to the cloud so that if something happens to your computer or you need a spare, you can hop on a new computer and get all your files. But we want you to know how to archive things because Whitfield laptops are meant to be a workspace. They're not meant to be a storage space. So the things that you keep, the files and folders that you keep on your computer, should be the things you're working on now. If you've got something from a class that you're not taking anymore, or from a project from last trimester, or something, you know, you've got stuff left, oh, you're a sophomore, and you've got stuff from freshman year on your computer, all of that stuff can be archived. You can always get to it at drive.google.com, but it's not taking up space on your computer. So let's take a look at how to archive something using the Google Drive settings on your computer. It's actually pretty simple. I've got the folder on my computer here, Google Drive, and then if I go down to my little notification tray area where all these icons are, and I click on Google Drive, we've already stepped through how to get to the settings. So I click here, and then I go to Preferences. This is the same area where you're able to tell Google Drive what you'd like to keep on your computer and what you'd like to stay in the cloud. In this case, if I go back over to Google Drive, I have a few things that I'm done with. Let's say my documentary project. That was last trimester, I'm done with it, I don't need it on my computer. I go over to the Google Drive settings and I find that folder, and in order to archive it, I just uncheck the box, and I select OK. So let me move it over here so you can see what it looks like. I'll click Apply, and it will warn me that you, don't, you chose not to sync documentary project. It's going to be removed from your computer, but you still have access to it on drive.google.com. That's OK. I'm going to click Continue, and watch what happens to the folder on the left. It disappears. That's because Google Drive deletes it for com your computer, but keeps it stored up in the cloud. Here's what it looks like online. Notice that folder documentary project is still here. We also want to talk about how to take a bunch of things and archive them, say from a, a previous year. So you're a sophomore, you just finished freshman year. Let me go back to the Google Drive folder on my computer, and I've got all this stuff from freshman year that I don't need. The way I like to do it, which may be a little bit different than the way that works best for you, I like to create a new folder. There's a button in the upper left hand corner, or I can right click in here anywhere and say new folder. And I'm just going to say freshman year. So I've got that folder, and then what I can do is take everything from that year and put it into my freshman year folder. Advisory, band, Espanol, history, intro to photo which I know is not a freshman class, math, PE, science, let's say I did a photo project, and then I'm going to drag them all into that freshman year folder so that they're all in one spot, and then I'm going to go back to my Google Drive preferences and archive that folder the same way we did the documentary project folder. Click on Google Drive, get to the settings menu and click preferences. And I'm going to find that freshman year folder. Deselect it. And click Apply. Same warning, telling me it's going to be deleted from my computer, but it's safe up at drive.google.com. So remember, it's really important to think of your Whitfield computer as a workspace and not a storage space. And when you're done with something or a group of files from a project or a class, make sure you archive it. And don't worry, you can still access that stuff anytime on drive.google.com.